it's not that hard, but a lot of people just are so lazy to do it. They're like, yeah, I'll do all that shit later, people or whatever. Can, people can figure out now on a computer within five seconds what took people 40 years ago, a four-year college True. degree, yeah. yep. and they're still too lazy to do it. I know, it's right. sad, they're isn't still it? too lazy to do it. People right now have access to information that people had to study for 20, 30 years back in the day. Yeah. And there's all they're looking at is pop videos and stuff like that. <laughs> Cats and dogs. I, I, I mean, yeah. Listen, this generation's a joke. I, and, and believe me, I'm I'm not so senile that I don't understand that every generation thinks the generation after him is <laughs> fucked up. Okay, right. we right. all get that. But this generation born after the year 2000, they different. Okay, mm, yeah. they different, and let me explain why in numerology terms. Okay, in the 18th, 17th, 1900s, you, every one of us had a one right in their birthday. That one is male energy. So even the mm. women born in the 1900s had a little bit of male energy. Now the kids born in the year 2000, there is no more one. There's now there's a two, and that two is feminine energy, and that explains why we have so many beta male bitches today because you have so much more feminine energy. I mean, listen, when when the 99 start dying, that's the last of Mohicans, man. It's going to be nothing but feminine energy after that. So, mm. I, I, yeah, dude, like I, Kyle, I, I, talk about your generation, man. What's going oh like what, what do you see cuz yeah, like, it's all like, your fault, he lives Kyle. in a red pill house What, what year are you born in? Uh 2002. Uh, brother, I I don't know what to tell you, man. What, what you, just run. What, just do you, what do you see in your generation, man? <laughs> Besides uh, rainbow flags, bro. They're trying to push that in my senior year. All this about LGBT being accepting and all this, and you know, to each their own. But it's like, don't fucking push uh, it on. Uh, us. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna push back on this to each their own bullshit. <laughs> see, this is how it starts. This is how it starts. You start being tolerant. You start being accepting of this. And, and, you know, in a normal society, it's like, you know what? What do people care what you do behind closed doors? They don't. But the thing is, it's not behind closed doors anymore. It's They're pushed pushing this you. shit on you. They're pushing this shit down your throat. They're basically going in parades saying, we will brainwash your kids. Right. Because you have to understand, these people can't procreate. So they basically have to brainwash. Yep. Yeah. This is how it works. So, you know, when there's a gay man who just wants to do whatever he does behind closed doors, whatever. But if he's pushing an agenda, no, nah, motherfucker, fuck you. Push back. And, and, and see, this is why people see Islam spreading. Yep. This yep. right here is sure. the reason why Islam is spreading. I'm not a Muslim. I'm never going to be a Muslim. But they're the only ones pushing back. And everything is about yin yang. Right. Mm. Everything is about yin yang. So if all this rainbow fucking garbage is going to be going one way, then it's going to be the mullahs over here with their assalamu alaikum stuff. So it, it, right. it, everything is going to be. But, and, but, and again, and again, I will pick the lesser evil. So I'm here with my little Muslim brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Very simple. But, but no, no, I'm, I'm with you on that. But like, 